Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Flatware Creations. Today I am procrastinating. I'm actually supposed to be making some of these little cats. But I had a question of how to make fork tine hearts for pendants. So we're going to do that instead. <laughs> um, okay, so I like to use a fork that has more rounded tines instead of flat tines like this. Um, these are going to bend a lot easier. And a big trick with this, if you try and bend them sideways, it really puts a lot of pressure on them and you normally get a lot of marks and they'll normally twist on you. So I'm going to show you a trick how to take that out of the equation and make all of this very simple. So let me bring you down here. Um, yes, you absolutely can do this without the flat wearable tool. Um, the only thing that I'm going to use that's different, I'm trying to fix my camera here. Um, there it is. Okay. No, yes, no. <laughs> Sorry guys. Configure video. Nope. Oh, I know why it's doing that. Okay, I gotta get rid of this one. Yay, there we go. All right. Let's get rid of this. Okay, get you back here. And just come down here and put you on the top. Okay. Hi, Kathleen. Let's see if I can turn this a little bit more so I can see it. All right, so all we're going to be using for this, um, you can use these uh, snap ring pliers, they used to have tips on the end. I cut those off and rounded everything. Um, but my favorite tool is this guy from Beadsmith. Um, I believe that this one is in the, uh, um, the description. Let me just check on that real quick for you. Um, this is one of my favorite tools. Um, let's see. Just need this. Let's see. Steen Harris Arbor Press. Ring Mandrel. I do not see it. How can I not have that on here? Yep, so I'm going to have to add this. Uh, those are looping pliers. Actually, that might be them. Yes, it is them. Okay, so they are in the description. Um, it's wrapper, looper, large pliers. That's what they're listed as in the um, description. Okay, I love these tools. So, hi Kathy. Um, I'm gonna use a piece of leather here. 
to just keep my fork safe. Um, what I like to do, so before I had these pliers, before I had these pliers, I always used this. And doing that, I'd have to go little tiny increments to get it to do what I wanted to. Now, we can just do this right off the bat. I'm going to grab the tine. Let me make it stop auto-focusing on you. So I'm going to pull this or push it away from me. And then right now I'm going to use the biggest piece here. So it's right here. Give yourself a little bit of room. over the top because it's going to want to swing around on you. So I'm going to give it about a quarter of an inch and I'm going to bend these only away and towards me. I'm not going to, going to be going to the sides at all. So this should only take you about three minutes maybe. I'm just going to loop it, I guess. And then this one I'm going to pull towards me leave that little bit of over and I'll bring it right around. So this is what we have right now. I guess. I'm going to take this one and bring it farther back towards me. This way you can go forward more. If you do have one of these tools, one of these guys here, it has a hollow end. You can take and do this just like this. And now make your bends. Come on, buddy. Come on. It's supposed to be a quick video. Come on, come on, bye. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a pair of flat nose pliers and, <laughs> nice. Okay, I guess I have to do this with Gus Gus here. So here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my flat nose pliers and I'm going to twist these around actually I'm going to go the other way with that one so I'm grabbing the front of the tine did I do this? I did this one backwards actually let's see if I can get it to go around without it breaking these need to get bent towards each other Are you talking into the mic? I thought it felt like it was being forced. Straightened out. All right, now we'll take this one and we're gonna bend it towards the middle. So here's what we're left with. Right now, we have a heart. We just have to refine it. So, are you saying hi to everybody, Gus? You keep bumping the mic. I am working on a different rig for this camera. So for this, I want to be I want my ends to be around the same size. So that means I need to bend this down a little more. 
and then this one comes can I bring you all the way over here figure out where I can get everything here for you Yes, I love Gus. He always wants to sit on my lap, no matter where I'm at, what I'm doing. So what I'm doing here now is I'm getting these hearts, I'm getting them lined up. So I'm gonna take my flat nose pliers again, and I'm just kind of straightening out these edges. You can take your flat nose pliers, and I try not to make any marks um, that we can't get out later easily. So there is one heart done. Okay, but I need to like be able to use my arms. So we're gonna do this side really quick. This one is going to actually, um, if you have a hacksaw, a jeweler's saw, um, a band saw, you're going to want to cut this piece out. It's going to make this process simpler. So here's what I'm talking about cutting out. Where'd it go? We're going to keep this going down. on pen <laughs> if it's not Gus Gus it's the pen okay so this is what we're gonna cut out and I'm gonna use my bandsaw because it's really quick and then we'll go on and I'll show you uh, with more clarity how to do the second one. So right now I'm just going to put this in the bandsaw and cut this out. Glasses. Gus, what are you doing? Come on. That does not feel comfortable at all. So, I found my hacksaw the other day. There it is. I'm gonna show you how to do this with the hacksaw. So this is, I forget how many more, how many teeth it has, but it's, um, it's meant for metal instead of wood. So we have a little line down here that we cut with the bandsaw. Um, right through here. Tighten this down. that 
So we have this piece right here. We just need to finish shaping the bottom and kind of getting these um, leveled out. So here's how we're going to do this one. So I will do it with these pliers now. I basically want to grab as much as I can. So I'm going to go up higher here. I'm trying to get you guys at an angle where you can see. So I'm going to go for the biggest part, even though it's not really touching. I'm going to start my curling in and just kind of letting it loosen as it goes around. On this side, I'm going to do the same thing. And now I'm grabbing just little bits of it. and just kind of pulling it over. When I got this uh, graduated pliers, it just makes things so much easier. I have a mark from every single one of those bends. So I have a mark there. <laughs> Hi Cheryl. I'm so glad Wayne. Uh, yeah when I was starting out I looked and looked and looked for silverware uh, makers and things and it was definitely a challenge. So I'm glad to be able to to help people out. Um, so you kind of see my heart. Now we'll look at this one. Big difference. <laughs> really big difference. Um, that was one of the best bending tools that I got between these pliers, uh, this fork tine hollow handled bender, and these my bends even for the fork to push and everything were just so much better so i'm just going to clean this up now get that in there there we go I'm trying to make the tips not so much line up. <laughs> I keep buying tools too. I think that's a never ending process. Um, can you guys see that? It's making me a little smaller. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap this down a little bit. So they've just crossed over each other. Uh, you get this back. Now I'm going to cut this off with the bandsaw real quick. lost my pliers. All right, so we have our little piece here. I'm going to take flat nose pliers and I just want to kind of straighten those out. You can put it back in your vise. Give you a little bit more leverage that way. And by going back and forth, it helps kind of put things or put the tips 
nice and straight where you want them. So I have a little problem with this one wanting to come over too far. There. Now I can take and flatten this out with the hammer. So there we have our heart. If you want, you can put the tines closer together. <laughs> yes, I'm always up for new tools. Um, I finally just replaced my forming block. Hopefully it'll be here in a couple of days for my press. But, and then I got two new blades for the bandsaw. So all we have to do now is just clean up this bottom piece. And you can just stick a jump ring on it. Um, let me, let me just cut, well, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna shape this real quick and we'll sand it and then we'll toss a jump ring on it. Got hot. Sorry about the noise. We'll let that cool off for a second. It got warm. I got a little bucket of water. We'll cool it off. All right. Okay. So I didn't miss any comments. Why isn't that focusing? All right, so it's a little off shapen here, but we'll toss a jump ring on it. You jump rings. There we go. These are big stainless steel 10 millimeter jump rings. I'll just toss it on the one. You can uh, use Anything you want really to get these to um, to fancy them up, you can you can make little things that hang down. If they do flip over, they normally will just come back. So that's nice about them. Then it goes upside down. Um, but that's the easiest way to make them. If you can do them in half or even cut the fork here and cut it down the middle and then just do like we did with the second one, do the half 
focus camera. Nope. <laughs> um, turn that off. Um, let's see. Yeah, if you can take your hacksaw, cut this in half, cut this in half, cut it down the middle. You already have your pieces cut apart. You just put them in here. Just a few minutes, you can, you can make a whole bunch of these. And then it's just a matter of uh, how you want to fancy them up. If you want to put two clips on here and make it into a hanging necklace. Let's see if I can make that happen real quick. Uh, we'll do another jump ring here. And can I find a necklace? Do I have a volunteer? I think I do. So let's see who wants out of the bag first. The green one. So you can take and run your necklace through the two jump rings. Am I still on camera? And now you have your necklace and you shouldn't have to worry about it going off to the side. So that will keep, keep it nice and even. And you can even run um, because everything is here right now, you can even run a couple of beads hanging down on some wire or something. But that is how you make those. I've been putting off cutting out these cats for over an hour. And so I just asked for an easy way to make these. So I'm like, sure, I'll keep procrastinating. <laughs> And now I have two of those. So I hope you guys all have fun. Yeah, I really like the coil spring. Um, I, where do I have all of that stuff? I really wanted to try, am I looking at the camera? I really wanted to try the um, drain snake. Um, because it was, they said that the inner diameter was a little bit bigger. Um, I think they're right here. So this isn't the, so this is the wire that we were using. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. So this is the spring that we were using. I mean, and it's not really even a spring, but it works like it. But the inner diameter is really small. So we had to make, we had to cut off so much of the fork or not fork of the, the piece of metal to fit down inside there. This is not a piece of the drain snakes for plumbing. Um, but it does have a lot bigger hole in it and you barely had to cut off anything. And those seem to be working really well, um, for people, but I haven't even made one of the spring ones <laughs> in so long, uh, staying busy with everything else, but all right, I will stop talking now. Yeah. So, uh, if you're looking for the drain snake, look for the smaller diameter one. Um, I know, I think there's two standard ones, a larger one, one's a smaller one. Uh, it's the smaller ones that uh, people were using. Just 
just so you don't get the wrong one and it ended up being this big and then your whole piece of silverware just kind of <laughs> fits inside you don't want that <laughs> alrighty so I'm going to say good night I have to cut these cats out um, I can start another live for that but I just wanted to get this video um, keep it short and simple uh, on how to make these hearts if you haven't subscribed please do um, I have shorts and stuff coming out now um, I just put out a short about the cats hopefully tonight I'll have all three done we'll see how it goes uh, thank you so much for for watching and for just being a part of helping me do this so I'm gonna close this down and you're very welcome I will see you guys <laughs>